Good evening to YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of St. Seiya Siren Scale. Alright, let's take a look at the box. There's a nice little box. Uh, I tried to assemble this because I don't have an instruction booklet, so I did the best I could. There's Siren Scale. He does have a little piccolo or flute or whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to try to assemble this as best as I can. He looks pretty darn awesome with all the samurai looking skirt pieces and everything. Even though he is playing with a flute, <laughs> I love the little musical notes there. Yeah, really good. I like that. That's trippy. I like the naked fairies in the background. Maybe you can make it out. Uh, anyways, so uh, yeah, uh, I know it's Greek mythology or something. I don't know. Here's the top of the box. Siren scale. Ba -do -do -do. Side of the box. Yeah. Da -ba -do -da. Uh, yeah, the dude and his cat. He still exists. What year was this made? I can't tell. Oh, there it is. Bandai. Made in Japan. Still made in Japan back in 88. Alright, let's take a look at the figures. First we're gonna... There we go. Looking pretty nice. Love this shimmery gold here. Uh, set this to the side here. Let's go ahead and focus on the dude. Siren scale. There we go. Yeah, I like the guy. He looks good. Uh, blood red eyes, brown red, blood red. So the paint apps aren't too bad. I, I love the mullet, uh, purple, lavender color, or whatever you call that for his head. So not bad. Regular articulation uh, for the Saint Seiya back in the day. Big, huge diecast feet helps in the stability. Double jointed knee. Look at that. All right. I think uh, shoulder does move up and down. Does swivel or not moves around. Bicep swivel, single jointed on the elbow. I think I have it backwards. There we go. It has the lower portions of the hands and the hands you see molded in. Uh, no index finger rotation. It has a upper torso swivel. No, so that'd be a more of a waist swivel. All right, it's on a hinge on the on the uh, hips. No upper thigh swivel. Just a little boot swivel or foot swivel and that's it. So double jointed knee is a pretty good articulation for back in the day. All right, let's look at the siren. And I love the gold finish. I like the bronze and one of the pieces fell off. I can't remember where this darn piece, I, I kind of just inserted it on the side here. It, so, oops, put it on backwards I think. I couldn't figure it out. I said, why do I have this extra piece? And the dang helmet just has a terrible time just staying there. I love how the flute just stays in the back there, and um, not much for articulation. I mean, it's just an armor stand. The skirt pieces are kind of weird. I don't know why it has that. Uh, the chicken legs are kind of weird. I mean, it doesn't have much for articulation. It's just an armor stand, and yeah, that thing's gonna fall off. So, the arms do move. The head does move, but you know, hey, it's an armor stand. I like it. It's nice, and yeah, I can can't figure out where that darn thing goes so let's go ahead and assemble this dude let's get rid of all these armor pieces and hopefully yeah I'm gonna yeah, take that yeah I love the flute there a lot of pieces and, and this is the Saint Seiya staple so hopefully I remember where everything goes and the box will help me out here so yeah just give me a second all right where did that go thankfully just behind me so yeah, give me, it's going to take me a little minute to do this, so, and that's normal. Uh, pop that off, pop that off, because that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do is uh, his chest piece. Gauntlets, I don't know why they have those extra pieces, the skirt piece is kind of cool, so we'll do that first. Yeah. You got greaves too. Ugh, man, and I don't know what the deal is with that. And last but not least, this piece right here. All right, cool. All right, figure that out later. <laughs> yeah, it's a shell of its former self. Put that to the side because we're done with it. All right, let's assemble old boy. As you can see, not the easiest thing. We got the torso. And it's imperative that you put these little clips on here. Yeah, just like that. Ooh, it's looking good. 
so yeah just all right now that we got those shoulder pads in there you're looking pretty buff let's get the what I like to do is um I like to put the little oops bump that out samurai skirt pieces we like to put that on first so they just hinge right yeah they just hinge right there so there's another one yep hinges right on there good very nice too open that up spread his arms out all right there we go put it on his waist and it just clips on the back right here so not too bad yeah so he's now got that nice little samurai armor good fantastic let's see if he can stand up yeah he needs these big feet just so he can stand up yeah, doing good and while we're at it let's put these awesome wings here just clip on in the back see those little sparks right there okay if I can there we go yeah I like the articulation there <laughs> that's a heavy dude man I have to lean him forward just so he can stand up looking good looking good all right let's put the rest of the stuff here starting with his greaves all right we'll put his helmet see if it sticks on there yeah looking good all right still have a lot of stuff gauntlets yeah gauntlets looking good just pop in right there all right got a lot of crap on this thing pardon my French all right so next uh, we're gonna put these things right here weird it don't pop in anywhere gotta be careful yep and next one surprise it don't pop in anywhere so looking fierce now you're looking mighty still not quite done yet missing a few things these little shoulder uh, I'm still thinking these extra pieces just throw me for a loop really don't know where they go whoops it just throws me for a loop because I have these extra pieces and I don't know if it's supposed to be here okay yeah there we go right on the bicep I'm starting to believe that I'm not supposed to have those pieces I just happen to have them there we go and last but not least his flute and let's see I don't think you can make him play the flute but yeah <laughs> Uh, that's the only thing I don't like about St. Seiya. These damn pieces just fall off. He's top heavy. He looks great though. I'm not going to lie to you. Looking good. Loving it. Uh, he's short though. I'm not going to lie. I'm moving back a little bit so you can see him to scale. There he is with Megatron. I'm digging the, uh, I'm really digging the bronze. And just so you can see, he's about four and a half inches. Megatron's like five and a quarter. And here he is with G.I. Joe. So there you go to scale. Took me a while to do this. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got. I like him, man. I really do. Eight out of ten. Catch y'all next time.